Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Fernando Caro. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And before we begin, first and foremost, I'd like to plug my mortgage team over at The Mortgage Guys here in the Southern California region, Los Angeles, California. For all your mortgage needs and real estate, you can find me down below at all my social media platforms or send me an email. Cool, let's begin. All right. Let's start with this datum, this statement that's commonly said, and you've heard it probably a thousand times, but let's bring it about again and let's dissect this. You are a mere reflection of the five people you commonly hang out with. Now let's observe these questions. Let's observe that statement. I want you to imagine and ask yourself, how is it? that I relate to the people I'm surrounded by? What's the flavor of this relationship? How do we relate? In what ways? What are the things we commonly do? What are the common communication that we often have? You see, when you observe through this lens, you're going to need to take a step back and see for yourself is this environment in alignment with who I want to become in life? And I went through the same process. I had to observe, okay, let me look at my life. I know that I want X amount of money. I want much success. I want greater health. I want to be inspired every day. I want to live a life where there's a lot of joy, a lot of love, a lot of commodity, a lot of compassion, a lot of, you know, loyalty. I wanted all these qualities, but I had to observe, okay, am I amongst the ranks of this environment? Am I in alignment with exactly what I just stated in these environments? Ask yourself, honestly, it's going to take an honesty because it's going to hurt. The separation is going to hurt and you're going to have to question Honestly, is this the environment that's going to get me where I want? And let's begin with that. Now, you have to take the initiative to seek out and place yourself. I systematically, in the beginning, had to observe and organically my life began to lead exactly where I wanted it to be. Now, I had no idea what realities, what environments I would be in the future. However, I knew that if I wanted to be ultra successful, I could not be working at a job that wasn't going to make me ultra successful. So I positioned myself in an environment, in an industry where I could make an infinite amount of money based upon my value, my energy, my input to get the output that I want. And it began there. If I wanted to increase my health, I must systematically place myself in an environment that's going to excel my growth in my health, my mind, my body, my soul. Now, when you question what is the flavor of this relationship, are you around people who inspire you? not only inspire you, but do they challenge you? Challenge you to be the greatest version of you. And it might take some time often. You might have to go through a series of different relationships in order to find that compatibility of who you are. And in most times, you may have to soar alone and create it. I've had to create the environments I wanted. I had to step back and reassess my values in life, my disciplines in life, and see how was I operating on a day-to-day -day basis in order to live the experiences, have the people I wanted who also think, speak, sound, and move like me. Now, as you continuously move through life, more doors are gonna open, but you have to first begin to observe is this environment where I'm currently at a place where I'm constantly inspired, constantly challenged, 
constant, constantly loved. I can count on this environment to continuously climb where it's not just you with the burden of growth, but also everybody has the responsibility that says, hey, in order for this tribe to grow, we must all grow as individuals. And my success is a mere reflection of your success. Then you also hear the, the opposite side of the pendulum saying, hang around amongst five millionaires and you'll be the sixth, right? And so in your life, in everything that you do, where are you placed in order to get the result that you want? Now you must begin to question these things. And in the beginning, it may be lonely and it may be confusing. It may be not knowing where the fuck you're going, but it's going to take that separation and that clear understanding, that clear vision to know, you know what? I want to grow in my life. And as I sit here right now, I can certainly say, that I've systematically placed myself in the exact environments that not only fuel my, my life energy, but inspire the fuck out of me. I observe my friends doing some incredible things from authors, from professionals, to spiritual gurus, to the most loyal gangsters, to professionals, to athletes, to students, all over, it's this game is so much bigger than the little life we're playing. So let's begin to build our network, build our connections. And it's going to take you to voice that out. Because when you begin to speak to the world, the world begins to come closer to you and everything that you want. You want more money? Speak in the language of money. You want more love? Speak in the language of love. Create your environments that are the beacon of that light. And you will rest assured, see that your life will continue to, you know, elevate to new levels. And that's what this game is about. Now, let's do a little summary, a little recap on what we discussed. Observe your current environments, your current social circles, and see what is the flavor of these relationships? How do I relate to this group or this core group of people? What are the conversations about? Are these conversations tearing away at me? Or are they elevating my state of mind? Are they inspiring me every day? Are they challenging me to be a better version of myself? Now, what's going to be your responsibility watching this video, knowing this information to make the necessary actions to put it at play? If you're in the same position you are right now, one year ago, that's your responsibility. However, we're only gonna continue to acclimate in life when we take that first step. And that first step is scary. You're gonna have to test the waters. However, once you test the waters and you say, fuck this, let's go all in, you dive in that bitch and just go swim and figure it out later. All right, guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe, Follow me on my social media platforms. We're going to continue rolling along all 2020. I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.